rising leader is graphic. Lighting an anti-corruption law. Wider mismanagement. And corruption. It doesn't have to be like this. It's time to change the channel on Philippine politics. Vote this May. Elections 2019. You know it's election campaign season once again when you see these. Pati nung ba na? Patay na ba? Hindi. Sabi sa ospital, wala pa yung mali. Sino ba naman mabubuhay sa dami ng bali at bugbog sa kanya? <laughs> Ganyan ang nga nangyayari sa Tricot. Baka hindi na gumising eh. Alam mo naman. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. May pinabibigay lang po yung tatay mo, sir. This is for your campaign for this coming Sunday, sir. Pakacheck na lang daw po kung ano po yung gusto niyo ang gawin for this Sunday. Alam mo ba? Ang hindi mo magkulo sa aking trabaho. Huh? Mukha ka na kaya. Okay. Hey boss, kumusta na? Ayos na. Ah, ayaw kong kumusta. Ang mga gawa at ginagawa mo, 
50% lazy really? compared to the others. That's good. Kaya <laughs> mo na. Ipano, matatapatin mo yun. Tao talaga sila. Manalo ko eh. Ako manalo. Beast mo nga sir eh. Yung may iba na wala na tuloy. Kalawa <laughs> dito, wala, wala sila sa world of business na ito. Yes bro, you're right. The power of money. Oh. Tos, ganda ng bigayan namin dito sa lugar namin. Isang libo. Sa libo? Oo. Doble natin. Doon yung mundo ng libo. Sa inyo pala, kamusta ang bigayan dyan? Okay na po, bayad na natin lang. Atin na yan, show the window na may nans. Sa inyo pala eh? Pakain na rin sa amin. Buwan na natin. Atin na to. Pag-alala na. That's good. Excuse me, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. So when I was 20 years old, I was in third year of college, I tried to kill myself. I set myself on fire. Every time a woman speaks up, or a man speaks up, their, their motivations are questioned, their characters are assassinated, they're pushed farther and farther away from recovery. So sa batas, yung pinasa ng Quezon City Council, dinivide yung sexual harassment and sexual violence into three categories. Light, violation, yun yung catcalling. Paghingi ng number, pangungulit sa paghingi ng pangalan, pagsipol, pagsutsut. Sunod ay yung moderate violations, kunwari pagtitig ng malaswa or yung paglabas ng dila. Tapos yung severe forms, yung tinatawag na physical harassment, yung panghihipo, pananansing. Sa buong bansa, Quezon City pa lamang ang may ordinansa laban sa catcalling at sexual harassment. Aabot sa isa hanggang limang libo ang multa. Pero ang mahalaga, mag-report sa otoridad at huwag baliwalain ng mga biktima. Kasi dati, culturally accepted yung baliwalain mo na lang yan, maliit na bagay lang yan. Even yung pangihipo eh, pati yun pinapabaliwala na rin sa mga kababaihan na parang, eh ano pa magagawa? Kasi marami ding bastos sa jeep, ano, lalo pag siksikan. Kung pwedeng tumabi kayo sa mga kapwa niyo babae, maging alerto lang. Eh kasi pag nakaganyan ka kasi, open yung dito mo eh. Pag sumakay ka, dipensahan mo yung side mo. Usually, yan ang ginagawang pagsasamantala ng mga lalaki. Pagsiksikan na talagang intentional yung pag-ano nila sa mga side ng mga kababaihan dito. Uro lang magpapaganda kasi. Silax lang, mapakapi-kapi. Babae kasi. Parang nakangalam naman. Human weapon, human destruction in our territory. Indian Senator Barbara, Congressman Erin Tanyaga, at si Michelle Jokno, isang human rights lawyer.
Magandang hapon sa inyo mga kababayan. Ako po si Tommy Rodriguez, tumatakbo bilang inyong mayor. Ipinapangako ko na kapag ako ang nailuklok, wala nang maghihirap sa ating bayan. Hindi mo kailangan maging mayaman upang umasenso sa buhay. Kailangan natin ng sipag at tiyaga. Servisyong tapat at katotohanan lamang. Rodriguez para sa bayan. ng ating pagboto, tayo mismo ang nagtatakda ng kinabukasan ng ating bayan. Ang kinabukasan ng mamamayan ay nakasalalay sa tamang panunungkulan. I think the right to vote is inherent to our democracy. Yes, even for terrible people on earth. I want to see us have one of the highest vote turnout. We live in a moment where cowardly Republican governors are trying to suppress the vote. As it happens in my own state of Vermont, from the very first days of our state's history, what our Constitution says is that everybody can vote. That is true. So people in jail can vote. Now, here is my view. If somebody commits a serious crime, sexual assault, murder, they're going to be punished. They may be in jail for 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, their whole lives. That's what happens when you commit a serious crime. But I think the right to vote is inherent to our democracy. Yes, even for terrible people. Because once you start chipping away and you say, well, that guy committed a terrible crime, not going to let him vote. Or that person did that, not going to let that person vote. You're running down a slippery slope. So I believe that people who commit crimes, they pay the price. When they get out of jail, I believe they certainly should have the right to vote. But I do believe that even if they are in jail, they're paying their price to society, but that should not take away their inherent American right to participate in our community. 